Uh, so earlier in the day, uh, solo brands went all up in smoke as they named a new CEO after what they called a Snoop Dogg marketing miss. And I have some thoughts on whether or not that is accurate and how his viral campaign actually did. So let's, uh, let's start at the beginning. So uh, back in November, Snoop released the following tweets. And of course, this showed up across a wide variety of social media platforms. I can point out that 153 million views of this particular tweet just on X. Uh, this, of course, was Snoop announcing that he has given up smoke, which was then followed by a video uh, which actually had over 60 million views. And once again, I'm just looking at the stats from Twitter and, and here's the actual video for you. Announcement, I'm giving up smoke. I know what you're thinking. Snoop, smoke is kind of your whole thing, but I'm done with it. Done with the coughing and my clothes smelling all sticky icky. I'm going smokeless. Solo stove fixed fire. They took out the smoke. Clever. Okay, so uh, inside the numbers, uh, just an absolutely great viral campaign. Uh, I saw this uh, not only uh, on social media, but they also spent a considerable amount of money buying television ads as well. Uh, yet, nobody's actually talking about how much money was actually paid to Snoop in the first place and how much money they actually spent on those television ads. Anyways, inside the numbers, 153 million views just for that one tweet, 62 million video views. Um, and then the solo brands uh, actually came out and reported that they had gained 60,000 new followers uh, just during the first couple of days of that campaign. At age, absolutely loved the campaign as I did. It ranked at 18th last year in its uh, annual ranking of best ad campaigns. So it did well, but it did indeed miss its sales targets. And, and here comes the crops of this story. Solo Brands basically came out and said earlier today after they announced that their new uh, CEO was coming in, uh, that they were going to miss their uh, targets for the year. Now, they had anticipated that they were going to get a significant bump, uh, which was going to take them between 520 million and 540 million for the calendar year. Uh, that didn't happen. Uh, the uh, uh, new CFO, which was brought in, by the way, back in October, um, actually announced that they were going to end up uh, generating somewhere between 490 million and 500 million. So the question you really do need to be asking yourself is, is, is this Snoop Dogg's fault or did the uh, folks over at uh, Solar, uh, Solo Brands actually um, miscalculate what they thought an actual social media campaign would do. And furthermore, were they actually, as I like to call it, uh, ultimately fishing in the right pond? Was Snoop Dogg's uh, 20 plus million followers on Twitter really the best uh, place for the Snoop Dogg ad to target? It is a question for the ages one that i'm sure many professors will bring up as they talk about this great campaign and how it didn't actually achieve the sales goals that the brand was looking for you've been listening to the backwards hat cmo podcast with dave dava presented by stealth.ltd